VIPs, it's Lexus Joy from Lexus Joy VIP Access, and I'm so thrilled to be interviewing the multi-talented and amazing... Mateus Ward. And we're here at the LA premiere of your movie, The Meanest Man in Texas, so congrats on all the phenomenal success with your career! Thank you so much, thank You're you. very welcome, this is such an exciting night for you, and I'm so excited because your movie has finally made its way to LA, but congrats on that. Now also, again, we're here at the premiere of your movie, so can you tell us a little bit more about it and what your character is like yeah absolutely it's uh, it's based on the true story of Clyde Thompson basically it's about a man Clyde who is uh, at 17 in uh, the 20s in Texas is uh, the wrong place at the wrong time finds himself in a situation where he ends up uh, being charged with two murders and he gets thrown into the uh, the system and basically becomes known as the meanest man in Texas and commits you know these, these murders in self-defense and people start to tell legends about him and he's just this this infamous criminal and it's basically his redemption story. Absolutely, that's so exciting and such an interesting storyline so I can't wait to see it. Now can you tell us what the atmosphere was like working on set of this movie? Well it was absolutely fantastic. Um, a lot of people don't know this, my dad uh, actually directed this. We got, uh, yeah, we got, we got approached by the producers to, uh, to do it and we just sort of put it together and it's sort of a father and son thing. But um, all biases aside, I think he put together a phenomenal crew and, and cast and everyone was just so sweet. There was, uh, a lot of people were saying that this had been the, this had been the best set they'd been on. There was, not, there was no issues, no egos on set. It was absolutely phenomenal and to be telling his story uh, it meant a lot to everyone. Excellent, and that's so interesting how you were able to work with your dad on this project, so we get to see both of you guys make this awesome masterpiece come to life. Now also, this role is quite different from other roles that you've portrayed before, so tell us what it was like for you preparing for this role. Uh, it, was, uh, it, was, it was intimidating to be playing a, you know, a real person who existed and, and had people who, uh, who were influenced by him, but um, I just, I, I I saw it as a challenge that I was that I was excited and honored to take, and uh, um, it wasn't easy, but it was by far one of the greatest experiences of my life. Wonderful. Now, any role that you take on, you always do such a magnificent job, so we can't wait to see you take on this character as well. And also, do you have a memory from working on set of the movie that sticks out to you the most? Oh, wow. Um, I do remember when the writer of the book uh, Don Humphrey, he came to set and uh, on a day when we were shooting a scene that every line in the scene is is verbatim what happened and it was in the book that he wrote and uh, he, was come, he came to set and he was watching it and he was absolutely in tears and um, and my dad was like, well, is it everything you, uh, you pictured? And he goes, it, it, through tears, he goes, yeah, it was, it's beautiful, but the mirror was on the other side. <laughs> And, um, That's so funny. But it was it was fantastic. No, it was it was really amazing. Definitely, and you know you did a wonderful job when you leave the author in here, so that's excellent. And also, if you could describe the movie using one emoji, what emoji oh. would it be? I would say if I could des describe uh, Clyde in an emoji, it would be the one with the uh, with the sunglasses, because this guy was cool as a cucumber no matter what came towards his way. You know, he was yeah. always smiling. Awesome, that's super cool. Now you got me like extra excited to see the movie. And also, The Meanest Man in Texas has been awarded with many awards already and various film festivals as well. So what is it like for you having your work be recognized already with this incredible film? No, it's absolutely phenomenal. This is, is something that I'm really proud of. And I, you know, I'm proud of all of my all of my work. I'm, I'm, I'm lucky to, to be able to say that, but this one, um, you know, we had Clyde's daughter there, and uh, she was moved, and to me that was the most important thing, so it was just, it was absolutely surreal. That is so wonderful. Now, Mateus, we're going to do a very quick speed round. Are you ready for it? Sure. <laughs> so the first question is, something fans may not know about you. Um, I started off with Elvis impersonating. So cool. Can you do a little like impersonation for us? <laughs> a little bit of that. Good job. You still have it in you. Just a little. <laughs> and favorite emoji. Favorite emoji is that I would say it is that one with the sunglasses. Very cool. I just You were able to on. channel in it. Yeah. So. I was excited. You felt like maybe that was like you emoji eyes. I think so. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Very cool. And favorite app? 
Favorite app? Um, I love uh, doing Photoshop art, so probably Superimpose. That's oh, that's a fun one. Very cool. And last one for the speed round is actor or actress you'd like to work with in a future project? Oh, um, there are so many, but one who has recently been so impressive and I think would be amazing to work with is Tom Hardy. Oh my gosh, stop! I would love to see you in a project with Tom Hardy. That would be so cool. Yeah, He's like one of my too. favorite actors, so that would He's be phenomenal. amazing. He was in Taboo, so that was like really cool. So maybe you could like do a sequel <laughs> with him. That would be cool. My like brain's running with the possibilities. But you did so good on that speed Thank round, so, so high much. five on that. And also we know you're always working on a lot of great projects, so what are some other things that you're working on that fans can look forward to? Well, right now, um, it's been a lot of, uh, of the press round with this film. But uh, me and my dad are working on some other projects that, that should be coming to light soon. But, uh, you know, super top secret actor industry <laughs> stuff. Great. So everyone just has to stay tuned for it because we know that you and your father always make <laughs> wonderful masterpieces, as I said again. But also, if you could bring out a message to all of your fans, what message would that be? Well, I think uh, this film is at its core a film about uh, acceptance, and uh, and I think that's something that the world needs a lot of right now. So, uh, you know, just yeah, accept each other, be nice to each other. I guess would be my my message. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much thank for you. chatting with me today, and congrats again on this phenomenal movie. We're so excited to see it, and everyone should definitely watch Mateus in the Meanest Man in Texas. Bye, guys.